Hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 gear up video. In today's video, guys, we're going to try to replicate one of the operators MP5A5 of the Korean Coast Guard C Special Attack Team. Uh, this is the South Korean Coast Guard, by the way. And um, C Special Attack Team, I guess you could say SSAT for short. Um, so this one here is a bit confusing. And there's also going to be two guns that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. But this one is a bit confusing to me um, because MP5s have so many variants. And I've done my research, but I can't seem to find a variant that Modern Warfare 2 has. Like, I, I don't know where they got this model from or, or what. But in real life, I'm assuming this one specifically is the MP5A5 because the trigger group. This gun in Modern Warfare 2 comes with safety, three round burst, and a full auto mode. And in real life, it comes with a safety, semi, three round burst, and full auto. I went with the MP5A5, and I hope you guys can agree with that. The gun also comes with a retractable stock, Picatinny rails. So I'm assuming that's what it is. I think it is an MP5A5. But let's get straight into it. So this is one of the guns that I'm going to be showing you guys. And then the other one is going to be a secondary, which I've seen an operator using. So you guys can see this does not require any special blueprints or variants or anything like that. Uh, but I will show you guys what you could do to make the gun look a little bit more beat up, a little bit more battle worn. So first let's get into the attachments of the primary here. We're looking at the barrel L38 Falcon 228mm and the tune for the barrel is as follows. I mainly use this one uh, because technically you don't need a barrel on this one. It already has the rails and everything. And the original barrel almost looks exactly the same. The reason why I use it though is because of those rail covers. They look really, really good. And on top of that, you have increased movement speed, ADS speed, so it's kind of a plus. So moving on to the laser here, we're looking at the FJX Ultra Beam XR flashlight. Definitely recommend running this. It looks like one of the operators are using one of these. It looks cool, so definitely going with it. For the optics, we're gonna be going with the SZ Lone Wolf optic. Basically, it's an EOTech, and uh, I love this optic. I always run it on a lot of my weapons here. I mainly run the one with the rangefinder, just because that one has a better reticle. This one seems a little bit faded sometimes, but moving on here. For the stock, we're looking at the FT Mobile stock. So this is, here's the tune by the way. This is one, oh my gosh, my analog stick is so annoying. Uh, it's a new controller, but apparently it still has a lot of stick drift. But anyways, this stock specifically is not the exact design they are using. This is not the stock they are using. They prefer to use the MOE carbine stock, which we see on a lot of AR-15s. And um, unfortunately, the game doesn't have that stock. So this is the best thing we can run with that also runs a buffer tube. And as for the under barrel, we're going with the Bruin Tilt Grip, which um, here's the tune for that which this one resembles the MOE grip, um, I would say the most. I can't remember exactly what that grip is called, but this is the build for the MP5. And moving on to the camos here, which we usually don't put on, but we have to for this one. We're gonna go all the way to the, uh, why is my, oh, there we go. Moving all the way to the solid colors as always, and we're gonna be running with charcoal. And to unlock charcoal, you guys have to use the honey badger. So if you guys have never used the honey badger, you will have to to unlock charcoal. And now you guys are probably wondering why, why charcoal? So if I don't use charcoal, this is what the gun looks like. As you can see, it looks normal. It looks fine. It looks like an MP5. But with charcoal, you're looking at a lot of battle-worn marks. The grip is worn, the magazine is worn, and it just looks a lot better that way. So I highly recommend running charcoal. Now let's go ahead and move on to the secondary and then we'll hop into firing range for you guys. So as for the secondary here, we're only using uh, three attachments for the secondary. If you guys want to use something else, you guys could run two things. You can run an extended mag, you can run a different trigger group, which I'm supposed to be running because technically Glocks have that little middle safety trigger uh, in real life. In the game it doesn't look like it has it for some reason. So you guys could run a trigger. Or you guys could run a different type of ammo. I just ran with this. I mean, you know, secondaries are secondaries. I don't really use them all that often. But here is the build for this. So we're moving on, starting with the laser. We're going to go with the DZM um, 1000L. Kind of a weird name for it, but technically just a flashlight. It's the second last flashlight. 
and MRDS here. We're going to be running with the Cronin Mini Red Dot as an optic here. This is the tune for the optic. Get that perfect ADS speed and flinch. And then moving on to the rear grip, we're going to be running with the FTAC OLZ grip. Kind of a, another weird name there. So this is mainly for recoil control, but I mainly meant it just for cosmetic purposes. And the tune for that is as follows. So yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and hop into this firing range. Gonna let you guys listen to it, enjoy, and then we'll swap to the secondary and let you guys listen to that too. Okay, so let's do. Let's go ahead and do the casual damage range test, and then we'll do a little bit of a recoil test just to show you guys that this gun is effective. So we don't have semi. Um, we're gonna have to go with full auto and pray that we don't shoot more than one round. So let's go ahead. Ten meters. That was a three shot to the head, but I'll do it again because I, I tapped it way too fast by accident. Three shots. at 25 and here we go at 50 five shots with the pistol I don't I don't think I need to do this but I'll do it for you guys two shots 10 meters 25 two shots wow that's overpowered two shots to the head at 50 meters you're joking uh, that's a bit overpowered why even use the mp5 <laughs> let's go ahead and do a quick recoil test just on the mp5 Yeah, long ranges, you're looking at quite hefty recoil. So bursting it after about 40 meters is definitely preferred. You guys can definitely pull auto at 10 to 25. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 2 gear videos. And yes, I'm finally getting into replicating the military's um, rifles and whatever firearms they're using. I'm still going to do some other builds from companies, but let's just go with a little bit of the military side for now. See what they're using. Try and replicate it in-game so you guys can enjoy it. And yeah, let's have fun with it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.